Hello all, this video is on 2.4 inch TFT shield for Arduino Uno and Arduino Mega. It is built on driver ST7789 Citronix IC. It is a single chip TFT LCD controller driver with on chip frame memory. The display resolution is 240 height and uh, 320 width and it has got a 65k color display. It uses 8 bit parallel port communication. It can be easily plugged on to Arduino Uno and Mega. If you see at the back side, you can see two ICs. These are 74HC245 buffer IC and the 3.3 volt regulator is there. This module can be easily plugged on to Arduino Uno and Mega. If you are using it on Uno, no pins are spared. Only A5 pin RXTX are not used. Others are all utilized. Uh, you can check up the connections. There is a bottom row bottom row where the analog pins are uh, uh, connected you can see the LCD RST that is the reset is connected to A4 CS chip select to A3 RS register select to A2 write to A1 and uh, RD read to A0 A5 is not used this is the bottom portion and the other end of the bottom portion is for uh, power that is both 5 volt and 3.3 volts are, uh, both are used that is the power section the top sh section is the uh, data data pins d0 and uh, d1 or at uh, the other end that is at uh, pin uh, digital pins 8 and uh, 9 are used and data pins 2 to 7 d2 to d7 directly to 217 up to from 2 to 7 and the other end of the pins that is used for sd card sd card select to pin 10 sd card uh, D in data input to 11, output to 12, and the clock to 13. Now plug in the Uno to PC and download the files in the description below. Open the files. You can see a demo file and the specification and PDF files. In this 2.4 inch Arduino uh, TFT user manual is given. You can check up the user manual PDF file. Specification is given at the top. Uh, the resolution of the screen the parallel communication used and then the data pins data pins and control pins used for you know which you have seen earlier it is defined in this uh, user manual and if you scroll down you can see the plugin uh, types for uh, you know and uh, Arduino Mega and also details of connections for using with the STM32 also given now open the demo folder and inside it you can see demo Arduino and inside there you can see examples and install libraries first you have to install the library uh, open the install libraries you can see C three folders LCD wiki underscore GUI underscore KBV and touchscreen three uh, library folders you can install it in this way go to documents Arduino and then open libraries copy these three folders uh, library folder folders and paste it into the library folder of Arduino this is the simplest way of uh, installing libraries you cannot install these libraries from library manager just copy and paste and do not change the name and uh, if you have already installed a touch screen that is add a fruit touch screen you should rename the previous one as touch screen underscore one you should use these folders as it is do not rename and uh, from a library manager uh, you cannot install these libraries or you can uh, download the zip folders and then install it as uh, zip library now let us go to the examples the first example is a simple example of displaying different colors on the screen this first example does not use any library without using library it is uh, first defines the pins all pins are defined that is a data pin 8 bit data pin and the control pins are defined and then the user defined function it does not use any library it is all user defined function and it creates uh, color different colors let us upload the code and see the effect so different colors are uh, displayed on the screen uh, let us do this with the library for this go to the second example open the second example 
it is clear screen example here you can see the both the uh, libraries are included there is the first one is core graphics library second one is hardware specific library both are included on the top and then an object my lcd object is created from lcd wiki underscore kbv class using this uh, uh, width height cs cd and then uh, write read and re reset pins these are all uh, used to create the object so my LCD object is created and inside while setup serial dot begin uh, is uh, serial communication is started and then we display the LCD ID in it initialize the LCD and uh, display the LCD ID using read ID function the ID is nothing but 7769 that is the name of the driver so inside while loop we use uh, three arguments to represent the RGB value and uh, display the display using fill screen function now let us upload the code and you can open the serial monitor to see the uh, 7789 and then the display on the screen this is using library now let us see the third example this example is to check the uh, graphics ability of the display open the code at the top we have included the two graphics uh, there is a two libraries and then uh, my lcd object is created using the argument and then uh, different functions are used to display uh, text triangle sine wave rectangle circle and others upload the code and see the effect first uh, the sine wave is uh, displayed and then fill triangle fill rectangle and then fill circle and fill triangle and then show the grid lines and uh, then show the random pixels all these are defined in the functions in the code and then random lines and then random bitmap all these functions are uh, defined in the code if you want you can use it in your uh, own code copy that and use it in your own code so this is the graphics ability of the uh, display uh, next example is uh, how to scroll text on display open the program you can see the program begins with some pin definitions that indicate which Arduino pins are connected to LCD pins and also which colors are defined. These colors are all defined in hex code. And upload the code and uh, uh, check the final result. You can see a fine uh, color, colorful display of uh, text. That is, it sits to for portrait mode, displays some introductory text and repeats, scrolls. It scrolls some text across the uh, module uh, text is uh, scrolled by redrawing text at uh, different positions on LCD you can see the text in different sizes in portrait mode as well as landscape mode and it scrolls up and down so it is a very nice display of uh, colorful text and the next code is we'll test the touch that is the program creates a uh, yeah, phone GUI to describe the touch in this example we include the touch screen dot h header file along with the other two header files and then define the uh, colors and other functions now let us upload the code you can see the program has created a phone GUI which includes buttons for making and ending phone calls it listens to touch you can touch using the uh, uh, tip given or with a pen it, you can see it listens the touch input and responds by changing button color and displays messages on the screen you can even delete the uh, numbers uh, fed in and you can touch on call to call make a call and then end it so this is phone call GUI and the next one is switch test that is how to display a menu using this switch test here also we use the touchscreen.h header file along with the other two header files and also we define the touch positions and the press effect and upload the code you can see the it displays a system menu which switches on and you can uh, set the wi-fi setting bt setting 
and then touch on system setting to get time date alarm setting it is just to an example to show show the menu display on the top you can touch the power button to switch off switch it on and off this is how to use a touch function in a switch and also finally you have the uh, sd card example functions also you can try that that is for other uh, video thank you for watching